Mango is a valuable tree in arid and semi-arid lands where income generating activities available to the small scale farmer are limited. I like growing mangoes because they are easy to grow and they don't need a lot of water. When I sell the mangoes, I use part of the income to buy food and pay school fees. Mango farming is very important to us, especially now when we are experiencing drought. Mango farming has given me good returns and I'm very happy. The demand for mango is higher than that of production and continues to grow both in the local and international markets. Most of the mangoes produced are consumed in the producing areas with significant post-harvest losses which clearly shows many farmers are not able to reach farm markets. Mango fetches higher prices in urban areas and in regional markets such as Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Apart from the fresh market, mango makes other products such as juices. However, despite the economic importance of mangoes in Kenya, the fruits production and market access is challenged by several constraints. Many farmers lack access to good quality planting material, hence end up planting inferior seedlings, obtained by germinating mango seeds from indigenous varieties. There is also a lot of pressure from pests and diseases which can result in total yield loss. Majority of small-scale farmers are not recognized in any form of marketing group. Instead, they are forced to deal with traders sometimes under unfair arrangements. This tends to result in low farm gate prices for farmers, or worse still, big proportions of the fruit end up rotting in the farms and are fed to livestock as fodder, which poses a grave threat to food security. Market, we have market for these valuable fruits, but farmers continue to be misled by brokers. The exporter from our farmers buy at six shillings, but brokers buy between two and three shillings. I encourage farmers to form cooperatives to enable them again so as to get good returns, to pay school fees, medical cover, and do other developments. Our farms have great potential to change our lives and make us rich. The perishable and bulk nature of mangoes, lack of market information and organized marketing groups put the farmer in a rather weak bargaining position. Small older farmers in the drylands of Ukambani, like many rural farmers, face the challenges and opportunities of a rapidly changing market environment brought about by trade liberalization and globalization. Rising incomes, population growth, urbanization, change in tastes and preferences are driving growth in demand for high quality, safe food. Globalization offers opportunities for increased agricultural exports. The capacity of smallholder producers in Ukambani to respond to the strengths and to take advantage of the opportunities offered by globalization is of utmost concern. The obvious answer is for groups of farmers to gather their produce together and market all their products collectively. Each individual farmer may only produce like one bag of mangoes, but if a hundred farmers gather together all their bags of mangoes in one location, there will be enough to make it possible to hire a truck and sell the hundred bags at the higher bulk price. This can only be done if the farmers take on the responsibility of sorting and grading all the bags into one or a few batches which have the same quality. This will be more easily accomplished if farmers agree to plant the same variety of crop to harvest it at the same time and to adopt the same growing, harvesting and post-harvest techniques.
farmers in Mwala, Machakos County, are already adopting these collective marketing strategies and receiving the benefit of higher prices for their output. To benefit from collective marketing, farmers have to adopt closer relationships with their fellow farmers. Before we experience challenges, since most of the mango is to go into waste, but there is a change because the market has improved. Now big buyers come and buy our fruits and we are earning good income and we are very happy. Let us learn how farmers from Wala Fruit Growers Cooperative Society have adopted a more business-oriented approach to selling mangoes. Mwala Fruit Growers Cooperation is a group of Soviet Mwala Fruit Growers Cooperative Society Limited is an umbrella body formed by nine groups with a total number of 420 members. Members from different groups have different varieties. On average, each member has a minimum of 50 trees. Most of the farmers of the cooperative society have few mango trees and cannot therefore produce large volumes of surplus mangoes for sale. Their inability to produce larger volumes of the fruit meant that they received much lower prices from traders. This at times can be understandable because the traders who buy the small quantities have to bear the cost of sorting and grading each parcel in order to match it with parcels of similar quality products. The traders also have to transport the mangoes to another market. Faced with the challenges of dealing with traders and having low bargaining power, Mwala Fruit Growers Cooperative Society Limited decided to market their produce successfully to exporters who pay premium prices. The cooperative grows much of their mangoes for export. <laughs> As mango buyers in the Republic of Kenya, we visit different groups in different areas with common agenda to meet market demand. We met a group from Mwala who visited our office and they informed us they have mangoes and inquired to know different information of what they have. I took time to visit there are different farms and checked pests like fruit flies and beetles to ensure they met export standard to avoid mangoes that don't meet standards being rejected. I visited different farms where I assessed and verified the mangoes, then compiled a back to office report in order to establish systems to be used when buying mangoes and also determine our market share. The SACO officials were responsible for providing the market linkage. They obtained a price of 6 Kenya shillings per mango piece when the price was 3 Kenya shillings per piece at the farm gate. And although the 6 Kenya shillings per piece is a good price considering the cost of production is between 2 shillings and 40 cents to 3 shillings for a farmer with at least 50 trees producing at least 450 pieces per tree, farmers can still get better prices and minimize losses if well organized. <laughs> We normally buy mangoes from size 8 and 9, which are the best for export, but also size 10 and 11 are last sizes to enter export market. These are sizes we require for export depending on the size which is on high demand. Mwala Fruit Growers Cooperative Society Limited has a strong, committed and forward-thinking management team which has provided reliable leadership. 
the organized marketing of the mango produce, which is now the major item on the SACO's agenda, that also includes organizing collection centers and establishing quality control to ensure a uniform product. The cooperative was formed in 2016 and made its first sale collectively in the first quarter of 2017. Out of this deal, members receive double of what they would get on the local market. So, what are the benefits of farmers forming strong marketing groups? By working in groups, farmers can buy inputs in bulk, thus getting discounts from suppliers and also share transport costs. Extension agencies and many other organizations are often willing to serve groups, but not individuals. Members can also easily share information and learn from each other. New ideas spread quickly through meetings, trainings and working together. An individual farmer may not have enough money to open a bank account or qualify for a loan. A group can get such financial services and can acquire the financial skills to use them. By marketing through a group, farmers can share the storage, transport and selling costs. By selling in bulk, they can attract new buyers and negotiate better prices. Strong groups are the basis of many rural development activities. When farmers cooperate with each other to form farmer groups and adopt a business model that focuses on reliable supply and adherence to the stringent market requirements, they do not only increase their income and livelihoods, but also enhance food security by producing safe and quality products.